All your favorite Instagram influencers, Marvel superheroes, have been drinking the Kool-Aid. Master Chief, Johnny Bravo, Goku, they're all on steroids. I feel like if you mention this, a lot of people will go, well, obviously, duh. Like everyone in the fitness bubble knows it. But if you think about in general, how many people know about steroid usage and how common it is? I don't think, I don't, I don't know. Do people know? I don't know. I didn't used to know and I worked out. <laughs> you tell someone that doesn't lift that The Rock is on most likely on steroids. I mean, the guy's, guy's like what? He's approaching 50 years to pack that kind of muscle. Uh, even with steroids, you know, it's, it's damn impressive what he's able to accomplish. And the response is just no. He puts in the work, he puts in the hours, okay? Yeah, no, obviously. That's what I'm saying, but I'm also saying he dips his fingers in the vitamin gummy bear jar. Maybe he takes two. Maybe he even takes three gummy bears. Who knows? We don't know because he doesn't talk about it. That's the whole point. <laughs> There's no transparency. And that's why I think it's important and not to, you know, make myself high and mighty. But I do think it's important for someone like me who has an audience that isn't necessarily into fitness to bring attention to this kind of thing. Because what I find is that in the industry, it seems like most people in some way are engaging with steroids. Everyone sees it. It's obvious to all these people, but a lot of people don't know about it. You even get people saying like Arnold, he never did steroids. What are you talking about? Like, bro, he openly talks about it. You just can't get that physique. If it looks unnatural, it is unnatural. That's a good... <laughs> and if you think that, uh, you know, this kind of steroid use is the thing of the past, I got bad news for you. It's probably more prevalent than ever. You go on Instagram and you got 18 year olds looking like fucking orcs. Again, if it, if it ain't looking natural, it ain't natural. And I don't even necessarily have a problem with it. It is the lack of transparency that I have an issue with, especially when these Instagram influencers are selling their epic workout routines. Bro, just use my code and you can also look like me. Like, shut the fuck up. But what I do find as well, luckily, is that a lot of great lifters and a lot of YouTubers are open about talking about these things. This guy, Noel, made this video, which you might have seen. It kind of went viral, I think. I am not a natural bodybuilder, and I have a major problem with other influencers that are not as transparent about it. Not only does it create false hope through naturally unattainable results, it discourages many people from changing their lives. It also risks people's health for their financial gain. These same influencers enrich their lives by promoting and selling you their diet and training plans, making it seem naturally attainable to reach their chemically enhanced physiques when it's not. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, I think he summarized it. That's pretty much my whole point of the video. <laughs> but actually, I think what bothers me the most is that the people that really, really should be honest. Because the thing is, there's always going to be Instagram scumbags. The the whole uh, concept behind selling them ideas to improve their, their bodies and I don't know, in any way. It's existed forever, it feels like. But you have companies like Disney and Marvel producing these superheroes expanding their muscles to fit the part in a very short amount of time and i think uh, to start off chris Hem hemsworth is a great example he's an absolute beefcake can you even be mad at him for using steroids like people want to see him big you see all the comments on this instagram post and like i can't wait to fucking see how big your muscles are on thor it's gonna be fucking awesome like can you really blame him <laughs> actors and entertainers put their health aside for the sake of entertainment we want it they provide it you know can you really be mad about it but I, what i don't like about chris especially is that he's selling this app uh where here it looks natural by the way that's perfectly attainable train eat and live better with chris hemsworth's team I'm like what the, i have to pay i gotta pay monthly to get his workout routine like I, get the fuck out of here am i missing something here like, how many teenage Marvel fans do you think are buying this, just hoping to look like Chris? Like, they're, they're clearly selling the idea. Like, to play devil's advocate, I'm sure, you know, there are some good works at, uh, workout in there. I haven't tried this app. I'm not going to. But the whole selling point is, you know, they want to look like Chris. And I can even see myself as a teenager. If I was young, selling this, I would totally buy into that. And it's just lame, dude. 
Like, we know the reason why you put that physique to the next level. And it's not just putting the work, putting the hours, okay? Here's him uh, posting about on his Instagram about his trainer. Uh, no, what is this? It's stunt, stunt man. Bro, come on, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is just making fun of them as well in the comments. <laughs> like, it's so obviously steroid use. I'm just wondering if they will also provide the specific drug dosages and intervals needed for Hensworth to look like this. It's fine to lift, but let's stop acting like the Marvel heroes aren't juiced to the gills. Thank you. Our second Marvel boy is Kumail, who had a huge transformation. He did this transformation in a year, according to uh, the news articles. What the f***? Like, even on steroids, that's impressive as hell. Because, uh, and anyone transforming in a year, that's a dead giveaway, okay? <laughs> like, building muscle takes time. It's a slow process. And I can I at least understand, you know, you get the role for this superhero thing. They have to fit the part. They need to gain muscle in a really uh, short amount of time. How do you do that? Well, there's one secret sauce. And it's getting steroids to build muscle. I don't know why he looks goofier in the movie. I don't know how that's even possible. Now, after the movie, it looks like he kept it going. Dude, look at this. Look at the guy. Look at this. Dude, get the hell out of here. Shut up, little like, Stop it. I feel like people also, again, defend this and be like, well, you know, he's got uh, the best trainers in the industry and he's got probably uh, the best nutrition as well. That's how he's able to pull that off. Yes, yes, but he's also got the guy feeding him that, you know, the steroids that hit him just right. But uh, let's just talk about these two, <laughs> okay? I, I think he, he got so ripped that even people that know about steroid usage will be like, well, if I had to use steroids to look like this, what's the fucking point? Well, then you're working out for the wrong reason, and that's ridiculous. But anyway, the truth is steroids work incredibly well. Yes, you still have to put in the work, you have to put in the hour, you need to know what to eat. These are essential to growing muscle. But if this guy was natural, if, if, and this is what he was able to accomplish in a year, if he then put on steroids on top of this, he he wouldn't be able to move. <laughs> steroids is so affected that data shows that you grow more muscle, and I didn't even know this, you can grow more muscle by not working out on steroids than someone working out regularly. If, if you ever want to feel discouraged about working out, hey, keep that one in mind. <laughs> And I don't want to go into, you know, is it is it good, is it bad? My whole point about this video is the lack of transparency, and I really do have an issue with it. But I do think it's worth mentioning that the side effects of, of steroid usage is real, okay? It's not good for you. I don't care what anyone says. And what's the point anyway? I love this tweet summarizing it. Motherfucker, doing steroids, not even for a sport, just to be a swole-ass waiter. <laughs> So even though actors like Camille isn't necessarily selling any products like Chris Hemsworth is, he is still selling this idea. And as part of Hollywood, the way it works, if you're promoting something, you have to do all this media for it. What he did as part of his promotion is he went to Men's Health and they did a video showing what's in his gym and his fridge. He's, he talks about drinking beet juice. Guys, you just have to drink beet juice. Are you eating enough protein? That's just what you like. <laughs> Who are we kidding here? It feels so stupid. It's like they're trying to come up with every reason they can find to hide the fact that they're on steroids. Like, they even go through some sort of electroshock thing. Like, is this a joke? This feels like a comedy sketch. No, I'm not Sarah. I'm, I electrocute my biceps. <laughs> Bro, just own up to it, pussy. Uh, Mark Wahlberg. You want to look like Mark Wahlberg? The man's 50, dude. All you have to do is wake up at 4 a.m. That's the secret. Like, I'm not trying to downplay people's hard work. Like, all of these actors would be m way more ripped than I am, even without steroids. I, I just don't like this facade of, I'm just, I just had to drink like these eggs <laughs> and I have to work out really hard and like, shut the fuck up. I remember when Robert Pattinson was announced that he was going to be Batman. Uh, he made it some interview saying that he didn't want to work out to become batman i even i had the reaction of like that's ridiculous bro you're gonna be a superhero you have to work out F pussy come on robert soy boy beta now that i understand how the industry works and what the expectations are when you accept these rules maybe i'm putting words in robert's mouth i don't know if i do i'm sorry but the way i understand this now is 
you obviously can't mention anything about steroids because then all these companies are gonna start calling you and kick you out of their i don't know you're not gonna get another acting job let's just put it that way so now when he says i think if you're working out uh, all the time you're part of the problem the way i interpret him saying i don't want to work out for batman is i don't want to do steroids and i don't like the message that that sends to people that's how i read into that i don't know i could be wrong and i guess that's the thing like i don't know who's that right or wrong here are we am i supposed to be mad at chris and kamel and all these marvel people that after all they are just giving people what they want which is seeing these people uh, actors transform in cinema are we at fault for having these expectations and lashing them out to other people i don't know what the right answer is i think it's great that influencers and lifters and anyone being transparent about their usage is great it takes balls and a lot of people just re will respect you more for it but people aren't going to be transparent because there are this pressure from companies to keep quiet and make us money, you know? And that's why I think it's important to talk about these things, educate people maybe who aren't even part of these communities, but you still engage with it by just looking at it. It affects your subconsciousness and how you perceive yourself. And you compare yourself whether you like it or not to these people. Getting fit takes time. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't compare yourself to these people because they're probably lying to you anyway. That's it.